Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines. Yes, welcome back to the word amazing, wonderful world of um, Tolkarki. So if I'm a bit off today, I do apologize. I'm recording this very early in the morning because um, <laughs> it's like what time is it? It's like 6:30. Because um, usually I record these at like 6:30. Well, not 6:30, but I usually record these at like 8 o'clock at night. And um, it just I, I tried to record it and it just didn't work out. I think so. Anyways, yeah, so I'm recording it today, and hopefully this one isn't god-awful like the last one was, or maybe it will be god-awful, who really knows. I'm going to have a more, last time I was kind of just rambling about, um, and I, rambling about random things, and I didn't really do anything, so this time we're actually going to do things, we're going to be productive this episode, um, yeah, anyways, so, um, what are we going to do? We're going to, we're going to plan out this area here, which I was already doing, because I was ahead of myself, and, um, I'm gonna rename that crater over there. I'm actually, I'm gonna do that now. Hang on. <laughs> oh, Norin Crater. Cause um, the last time, if you remember, the episode ended on a cliffhanger with this meteor over here, and it landed, and it kind of just left a small dimple here, which is really um, depressing. That it didn't really do much. So I'm renaming. I was renaming the big boy crater, the Oak Norin Crater, so that way um, he can be happy and I can be happy and everyone can have a fun old day. Also, I need to do traffic here because this intersection is um, god awful, and um, that's just no bueno. You gotta, you gotta have traffic flowing like a, like a free river, and this ain't flowing nowhere. Yeah. Okay. What else am we doing? Um, I think that's it. That's all I can think of. I want to redo this river because it's a very nice river. I think. I think it really ta it brings the whole vale together. But all these pumps along it, they're not they're just not working out. So I'm thinking um what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy the Casa del Blinka here. Cause it's not really working out. There's lots of dead people on the streets, you know. Some people come to visit these um these little um hotels here, but they're not really they're not staying, you know, they're just kinda there. And it doesn't really look good and I, I probably could have done this whole sector better. Yeah, and it's, it's just not good. It's just not good. So I think we're going to destroy it, and um, I don't know what we're going to do up there, but we'll do something. Anyways, let's get this planned out, because we have a bit of we have a bit of um, demand, so, so I think getting this all planned out would be good for my future self. Of course, you don't want to build too much, because if you build too much, then the, um, the land value goes down. I think that's how it works. I don't know. I'm not into um, the economy. Anyways, um, so, <laughs> let's get to the comments, which, um, I'm not gonna read too many, I'm just gonna go off memory from last time, cause, um, I'm a bit short on time. So anyways, um, the, congratulations to Sergio for getting first, so, um, I'll have the leaderboards up here, and if I don't have time to edit the video, then I'll put it on the Wednesday's video, but I know Sergio's in the lead, and, um, I think Devin Games Around went up a spot, so congratulations to them for moving up in the world and life in general. Um, also, um, Sergio and, um, Sergio so said, um, asked a question of, do you have carnival where you live? No, cause, um, right, I live so, I live in, um, how do I describe this? I live in New England, right? N you know, everyone knows New England, right? You know, that's where the Boston is and, um, all those other fancy places. You know, maple syrup, donuts, that whole shebang, shabung. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, and you can kind of divide New England into two parts, right? You have the interesting part, which is, um, Boston, not Boston, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island, right? That's the interesting part, because that's where, like, everyone lives there. They all have a good old time. They're a bit rude sometimes, but, you know, all the all, all the interesting shops and stuff are down there, because that's where everyone lives. And then you then you have Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, and those three states are, um, there's forest, mountains, and, um, moose. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a rough life. But um, yeah, we don't celebrate anything up here because everyone's too f far apart. Imagine like, uh, imagine you know how paintbrushes work, right? You kind of like, um, you have a paintbrush that's full of paint, and you just kind of flick it at the page, and the paint goes everywhere. And there's like, you know, there's big splotches and there's little splotches. Imagine that, but as a, but as a state, and that's kind of how new, um, upper northern New England works. It's quite sad, but um. Yeah, it's whatever, you know. At least, at least no one bothers you. You know, there's no murder here. There's just kind of drunk rednecks. Honestly, I would take drunk rednecks over a um, murder any day. There are some weed problems though in heroin, but <laughs> that's another story. Um, 
What was I going to do? Yes, power. I was looking at this um, before I recorded for a few minutes. We do have a lot of excess power. We're consuming only about a thousand. We're at negative seven degrees, so it's probably not going to go up too much. And uh, we're producing about two thousand, so we really don't need this nuclear power plant because we're only making six thousand. I want that to go up a lot, and this is costing ten thousand a week. We don't exactly need it, so we're going to turn that off. That should save us a lot of money. There is some traffic here. That's a bit of a tissue, ain't it? Are you going to go anywhere at all? No? Oh, okay. I'm just trying to figure out how bad traffic is. There's a long line of cars. Hmm. It seems to be fine. Yeah, I think that was just a little bit of a little bit of a traffic burst, if you will. Um, I don't know, maybe there's people rushing to get sales. Oh, did you hear the story? Oh, there's this really interesting story in, um, in France, you know, that third world country in Europe. Um, no, it's not third world. I'm not a conservative. But anyways, um, so yeah, you know France. Everyone knows France, you know. They had, um, I guess in Europe and specifically France, they're really into Nutella, right? And um, at the supermarket chain, they had this sale on Nutella. It was like 75% off there. And um, there was just these massive, like, riots. Like, the type of thing you'd see in, like, Black Friday in America was there and it was just like people like beating each other up for like these what would you call jars of Nutella I don't understand I don't really like Nutella oh did I forget to turn off uh, okay anyways yeah I don't really understand Nutella it's kinda like um you know I'm a I'm a I'm a peanut butter boy if you wanna look at it like that but yeah peanut butter is the way to go I don't really understand Nutella it's kinda like it's kinda like um it's a bit fattening I would believe but you know, to each his own. But yeah, people are just like beating each other up for a cans of Nutella. And honestly, it's a bit crazy. Um, but you know, you do you. If that's how you want to live your Nutella-based lifestyle, then who am I to blame you? But I've never had Nutella, so I just don't like the idea of it, I guess. Because it's like, it's like, um, what is it? It's like chocolate, right? It's just like chocolate spread. Or no, it's hazelnut, specifically. Because apparently hazelnut and chocolate are two entirely different creatures or beings um, I always wanted to um, I always wanted to grow like a chocolate plant like um, I think it's called cacao cocoa whatever you call it. that's where they get cocaine from I'm pretty sure so but yeah I always wanted to grow one of those because you know again you just open up your own chocolate factory and what literally what more could you want as a child than your own chocolate factory however those dreams never came to fruition not yet anyways never know I could probably move to Colombia and start my own little chocolate plantation or something like that who really knows maybe in my retirement that'd be interesting I probably adjusted my mic there and it probably ruined everything yeah <laughs> mm. uh, okay let's actually improve the city instead of talking um well, the problem is we don't have any demand right that's the problem we, we could probably fix the commercial demand by having these here that'll probably work out Why did everyone just get extremely unhappy? Oh, did we lose a game? We... what time is it? Uh, 8.04... I think we did? I think we lost a game. It's 62. I'm presuming we lost this game here. Wow, zero people bought tickets for that. Jesus Christ. Wow, we are... we suck. Holy crap. Tolkogarki FC's... I'm pretty sure we just got a bunch of American players, that's why we lost. Man, um, soccer in America is... oof, no bueno. I like all the people wearing blue shirts. I should have mentioned this last time, but um, yeah, it's very nice. All wearing... wow, it kind of looks like a, um, like a bit of a cult, don't it? Just a little bit of a cult. Mmm, it's fine. What's the worst that can happen? They're probably not going to go murder some, um child, innocent child, children later. Children, children, children. Is that how they used to pronounce it? I know there's a lot of, like, old English words that, like, um, they used to pronounce it, like, literally, like, knife, or child, maybe it's, like, children. Children. Mmm. Stuck in children now. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. Bit of traffic build up there. Wait, we should build the roundabout. That's what we should do. <laughs> Uh, man, thinking of things to do in City Skylines is like, um, it's like trying to find a fun way to mow the lawn. You just can't do it, really. You just really can't do it. It's just not gonna happen. I don't know. 
bit weird. It's a bit weird to. It's a bit hard to make um a boring game like City Skylines entertaining, isn't it? I don't know. I find a way, I guess. And sometimes I fail, and that's okay, because that's just how life. It really do be like that, though. Um, let's just bring that, turn it like that. There we go. And then this can come. Oof, that's a bit of a tough problem. I know what to do. Okay, we can turn on. We can destroy this road here and um, flatten this boy out. With um, this is gonna cause a lot of problems, isn't it? Can we just ah there? Whoa, too big. We don't want to destroy the precious crater there. There we go. Eh, I kind of touched it. It's whatever. This can come out. Um, like this, like that. I want a fair amount of room, so that way we have lots of room for this little, little thing here. Perfect, and we need to straighten this one's back out. Wonderful. That's cool. Okay, and this can come over here. Beautiful. Okay, and then they can come out too here. Yeah, so that way the highway can fit underneath and then it can come down like this. And like this. And it can come in like this. Yes. Ain't she beautiful. Not really, but it's whatever, you know. You win some, you lose some in terms of um, infrastructure building. God, I'm looking at my mic and it's really far away from my face and honestly if this episode's screwed up, I'm gonna cry. And um, if it's not screwed up, I don't know, I'll just record it later. It's no biggie. Okay, wait, this needs to come in through here. And, um, like that. There we go. Like that. Nope, it needs to... That swung in a bit too hard. It needs to come in like that. There we go. Yeah, that's a bit too close, admittedly. Um, can this come out like this? There we go. Oof. God, I really hate the freaking roundabout building in this game, especially when you're building underneath things. It's the worst system in the universe. I would actually rather milk a, uh, I'd rather milk a cow udder with horns on it than deal with this stupid traffic thing. Okay. <laughs> That's probably the most bat country thing I could have said, and I apologize for that. Um, okay, this can, this can, uh, no, 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 this can, oh my god. You kids, can you not... <sighs> This is, it's too early in the morning for this bull honky. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait, no, it, it was working, it was working. It's not working. Work. This game hates me, that's why. Okay, it needs to go... Let's start in the middle. Let's start in the middle. It can come around... Like this. Like this. Like this. Why aren't you gonna work? Why not? Because it's stupid, that's why. This can come over here like this. And then it can come underneath. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and then what we do is we put... We don't want it too close to that road there, because that's gonna screw up traffic immeasurably. Some like this, just a little bit. Your slope's too steep. Oh my god, I hate this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Wonderful. You can't get frustrated at this game. You can't get frustrated. It's not. It's supposed to be a calm, relaxing game. Not like those, those um, shooty, shooty, bang, bang games that are making the, making the children shoot up schools. You know, you can't have none of those. Cause um, I'm a fox. I'm a, I'm a conservative parent. Yeah. Okay. Man, remember when I'm? Remember when um. Everyone really used to hate on video games because they thought they would um, cause people to kill other people and cause like gang violence and that fun stuff. Those were the days, right? Oh man, fun times, fun times. Anyways, I'm sure that still goes on in the back minds of some um, um, evangelical right-wing conservative, you know, parent from the south or anywhere really. I mean. You don't have to be specifically from the south. It's just kind of from everywhere at this point. But who really cares about that? Because now Minecraft's a thing and everyone can be happy about it. This, where is this going to go? This roundabout's a bit too small for our purposes, but it has to do. I think it can come into here. And then, no, yes, right there. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, cool. 
I think that roundabout works um, beautifully for our purposes. Wonderful. Okay. Oh, there's a bus. Why is there a bus using this? What kind of bus line is that? Oh, because it used to go through there and then. Okay, cool. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, alright. That looks pretty neato. I think. Mm hmm. Well, these power lines destroyed. Those are destroyed a long time ago. Who really cares about that? Um, should I do the lake now? I should. Wait, we have to destroy this whole town first. And you gone. <laughs> you gone, you gone, you gone. And we can destroy those. Well, we don't have to. Well, there we go. <laughs> destroy them anyways. Apparently these cables count as a network and not a building. Which doesn't make any sense, but I'll take it nonetheless. Ooh, I do not want to destroy that dam. That would be a bad time all around. <laughs> Oof, man. Alright, destroy that, destroy that, and destroy that. Those are just some floating cables. Fun times. Oh, we forgot these two. Boosh. Alright, cool. And then we can destroy these roads. Wonderful. All those people who are floating there, they can go screw themselves. Okay, so how are we going to do this? That brush. That's a good brush. Something like a 26, I think. And we're just going to... Bit of a small brush size, and then down, 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 down. Down, down. We want to live a bit of room for like some small town or something up here. A small mountainside town or something I think would be quite cute, cute and cool, cute and cool. Um, something like that. That's a very deep lake, ain't it? Uh, it's fine. I want this dead down a bit so that way we can have like a nice little bridge going over. I think that would be quite cool. Quaint neato burrito. Does anyone say that anymore? I don't care. People, I'm gonna say it anyways because it's a cool phrase. Eat a burrito. Mm hmm. Okay. Can we have a f water thing in here? Because I'd rather have that than um, anything. It looks like we can. I'm not entirely sure how these things work. Something like that, right? Up a bit. Up a bit. There. Right? Yes. Okay, cool. We're gonna have water there, and these can go screw themselves. And this is the way that will pretty up the veil a bit. I think having these little, destroying these pumps and getting getting this little water system in here, I think that'll just work out quite swell. I believe. Destroy these. That's wonderful. Oh wow, it's already it's already pretty much filled up. That happened actually really quickly. Okay. And then we can have the road come around something like this and up like um uh, no I don't want that I don't want that no 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 okay maybe I have to have that all right this can come around like this around 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 the merry-go-round no okay I think I'm finally gone insane because of the series okay this can come around like this yes. Yes, it's beautiful. Okay, this can come up, up a bit more, up a bit more, up a bit more. There we go. Come over like this, and then into here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And there's a big old waterfall. Yes, that might be a bit too much water. Uh, I think it's fine. Maybe, possibly. Can this be a little bit higher? I want this to be just a little bit higher. Just a tad bit higher. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, because I want it to fill up the lake just a little bit more. And I think that should be fine. Yeah, that's working out pretty fine. Okay, cool. Anyways, um, so that will be it for now. I think um, I've done my bit. <laughs> And maybe this episode is going to be horrible. Who really knows? I think it's better than the last one that I recorded. Um, for sh for show, sure, for show. Sure. Anyways, um, if you did enjoy it, um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment on whatever your various suggestions or whatever. I really like the comments for this episode, and a lot of them were paragraphs, so um, they're a bit hard to read, but I enjoyed them nonetheless. But yeah, so thank you for those, and keep the comments coming. And um, I think I'm going to have um little um 
end cards, because YouTube's been yelling at me to have end cards at the end of my videos for like ever now, but I've never actually gotten around to it, so I might actually do that this episode. Who really knows? But what do you want to see at the end cards? I was thinking just having like some random video at the end, or maybe like a music, some music, because I'm into music, you know. I'm not going to be a YouTube rapper, but I'm into music. Yeah, but yeah, I don't really know. That's flooding, I'll deal with that later. And um, this is it for now, and I'll see you all next time.